Can you play out for me how a magisterium that was in its very constitution hostile to tradition, though secretive, like a set of disgruntled former agitating employees taking management of the business, may operate? The goal would be to oppose all tradition in principle. Imagining a scenario where a magisterium is secretly hostile to tradition, while trying to maintain an appearance of continuity, would require a very nuanced and strategic approach. Here's how such a scenario might play out. Gradual changes with plausible justifications. Initial steps. Subtle reinterpretation. Begin by subtly reinterpreting existing doctrines and practices. These reinterpretations would be framed as clarifications or modern applications of traditional teachings. Incremental changes. Introduce small, incremental changes that do not immediately appear radical. This could involve liturgical reforms, shifts in emphasis in theological education, or modifications in pastoral practices. Plausible justifications. Pastoral needs. Justify changes by emphasizing pastoral needs, the evolving understanding of human nature, or new socio-cultural contexts. Appointments. Appoint bishops, cardinals, and other key leaders who are sympathetic to the new direction. Over time, this will create a hierarchy that supports the agenda. Liturgical reforms. Liturgical innovations. Introduce liturgical innovations that subtly shift the focus away from traditional practices. This could include new prayers, rites, and ceremonies that reflect contemporary concerns and sensibilities. Inclusive language, implement changes in liturgical language to reflect modern sensibilities, using inclusive language and contemporary idioms. Ecumenical dialogue. Engage in ecumenical dialogue with other Christian denominations and religions, using these interactions to introduce and legitimize new theological perspectives. Doctrinal shifts. New documents. Issue new doctrinal documents that reinterpret or expand upon existing doctrines. These documents should be carefully worded to appear in continuity with traditional teachings while introducing new elements. Synods and councils. Hold synods or councils to discuss and endorse new theological insights. Frame these gatherings as efforts to address contemporary issues while reinforcing the appearance of continuity with the past. Promote dialogue and inclusion, encouraging open discussions while subtly steering the conversations in the desired direction. Gradual marginalization. Gradually marginalize or discredit vocal opponents by portraying them as overly rigid, outdated, or out of touch with the needs of the modern church. Reform seminaries and educational institutions to ensure that future priests and theologians are trained in the new theological and pastoral approaches. Issue pastoral guidelines that subtly enforce the new practices, ensuring that clergy and laity alike gradually adopt the changes. In this hypothetical scenario, a magisterium secretly hostile to tradition would operate through a combination of gradual change, selective emphasis, administrative reforms, theological development, and careful management of dissent. The goal would be to introduce significant changes while maintaining an appearance of continuity, thereby avoiding overt rebellion and ensuring long-term transformation. Such a strategy would require patience, careful planning, and the ability to manage perceptions and narratives effectively.